Cow Swim was the one set of rapids we kept waiting for. Uh, Cow Swim was interesting. Uh, it's a rapid that wasn't really there the last time I did this river. No one knew what to expect at Cow Swim. There'd been a rock slide there over the winter or back in the spring, and that had changed the whole equation. Scott had done 150 expeditions through the Grand Canyon, each one about two weeks long. So he had spent six years of his life, two weeks at a time, floating the Colorado River. He knew rapids, but he hadn't been through cow swims since everything had changed. We pulled in uh, upstream of the rapids and our guides scouted it from the banks. I knew we were in for a ride when Scott choked up on his hat strap. It was about the dips, the, the holes in the ground, now it's gone. How are you living after that? There's some, some serious big dips in the middle there. The, the boat kind of ends up at the front and the water comes crashing over a sheer wall of it. That was really a, a adrenaline rush, really. You're on a road to revocation. You're on a fast autonomous automobile. And now you can't change your destination because you can't see the signs of sweeping the wheel. It's a bit gnarly. I got soaked to the skin. It's got a big red button in the front of the car With some instructions on 